afternoon. Back out again, bit of sand on a blustery day at uh, South Wivensey. Um, conditions look great as I'll show you. Nice flat sea. Southwesterly blowing, but it's about what? About 10, 15 mile an hour max. Wall's giving us a bit of a bit of a shield. I've just cast one rod out. Uh, I've knocked out about 60, 70 metres. I ain't gone stupid. I want to see how it's holding. Uh, I haven't put both out yet. Fishing squid at the moment, full squid, on a two up pattern oster. Uh, I'm gonna show I'm gonna throw one in short in a minute. Uh, maybe about 30 metres. You never know, there might be some uh, some nice fish a bit close in, so I'm gonna have a go at that. But as you can see, it's a steep beach on here anyway, look. I mean, it's only breaking about a good 20 foot out, that's it. But uh, it's steep, as you can see, there's a good depth. Even even 20 feet out, you're looking at six feet. So, I mean, it's uh, it's really steep. You can see as that goes out of the coast. So, I mean, we're in, we're in, we're in deep water, to be fair. Uh, I'm hoping for a few fish. I'm not I'm not, uh, I'm not. not getting my hopes up for a cod or anything, because it doesn't look like cod, you see. But you never know, do you? Uh, I might get a ray. I might get a few flatties. I might even get a sole. Because I've had a few here. Um, whether the waiting's here or not, I don't know. But as I say, I'm not fussed. Anything will do. I'm not fussed at all. It's just nice to be back out again. I, I'm trying to uh, trying to get out as much as I can, but as I said, my back hasn't healed. And uh, I'm struggling now, really. It's only because my lad has come with me and he's carried both boxes down the steps. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother coming. I'm trying to, uh, trying to fish as light as possible. Uh, not to do my back in because uh, I'm just not letting it heal every time I, I come out I'm making it worse you know I was going to take four months off and uh, try and heal it properly obviously I've got a tumour in there that's not going to heal but I mean um, you know the fracture in it that's caused by that is it will but I've just I'm not staying off it I just keep I can't resist coming back out and having another go and, you know because you get bored don't you you get used to coming out you get you know you get used to a bit of space and stuff so you know, I needed to come out, even if it's uh, even if it's once a fortnight or something. And uh, normally I'd have gone to the river because I can virtually fish out the van there, but uh, there's no in the river, so what's the point? You know, I want to get some fish. I know it's not all about catching fish and stuff, it's just about fishing, but, you know, you need to be out there, don't you? But, uh, what can you do? But it, I mean, it's a lovely day really, there's a bit of rain forecast for about 1 or 2 o'clock and it's now uh, about half 12 but um, you know for all them that's looking out there with the uh, boathouse um, cameras you've probably seen me, I'm, I'm on the second groin but, uh, not that you'll know now but that's where I was but um, uh, it's all good really, should be alright you know I'm only fishing well about half five, not fishing late I've brought no lights with me um, I've brought very light wet gear, I've got a, a pair of wet leggings and I've just got this coat on so because there's not much rain forecast. I'm in the van so if it wellies down I'll just jump in that, I'm not bothered like. It's not that far away from me, I've only got 40 steps to get up and I'm having it so. But uh, let's just see how this one rod gets on, but I mean it's, it seems to be holding anyway. I don't know what squid's doing here at the moment but um, I'm going to take a little break for now, it's just a little intro and I'll be back and next time you see me you'll be on the rods, so I'll see you in a bit Well, we're back, as I said it's a blustery day Got both rods out Danny's over there The old uh, latch hunts machine, you see him over there He's uh, give me a wave Danny He's over there with his two rods, he's got a lot of weed at the moment Danny's not an happy chiller He's not an happy fella at all, but uh, Ah, the conditions look good, a bit of rain coming down now like, so I've had to keep the camera off a while But I'll get you on the rods, because You never know, mate, he's got a lucky, uh, a lucky bank Somebody's got to get there, haven't they? Might as well be me Tide's coming in pretty quick, I'm hoping I don't look the wall, because There's already somebody fishing to the right of me, and he's obviously going to get near the uh, steps I'm going to get stuck I'll have to go up top pretty early Let's go with a nice pipe. 
put a nice little rock on the stand on here. Put a nice rock on it because uh, I don't want it blowing over because there's a bit of wind blowing. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera or not, but you know, there is a bit of blowing. I'm just hoping for uh, an early fish. I don't know if I get one or not, there's another mat over there. I'm hoping for one anyway. I've got the uh, tool pot and after that on full squid. Well, half squid. I put it in half, so I've got half on each one. And, uh, and the uh, poly panel, I've, I've stuck that out about 100 metres or so. And um, full squid on that. Hoping for a spray of pot or something. So, you know, I've got my different ranges and I've got uh, different rigs on, so, you know, I might go a bite one of them. There is weeds though. I've just, I haven't pulled in yet, so I'm a bit worried. We've <laughs> been out there about 10 or 12 minutes now, so I'm going to give them another 7 or 8 minutes and I'll bring them in. 20 minutes first, man. See what weeds have accrued. But Danny's, Danny's fishing um, not as far out as me, so, you know, he's collecting a lot of weeds, but I might have a lot of weeds, you don't know. Might be close in. I'm looking down the beach and I don't see much, see much stuff, so, you know, the one from maybe on early the five. But, uh, it's not that bad. I'm hoping it's going to be uh, a weed fest. It's, pretty, it's hard enough reeling in with the fish on without the weed on, isn't it? <laughs> I like to get a big skate and a big ball of weed at the same time, that would be awful. But it's nice to be back on the beach. It's not long for the uh, summer season now. Really. I do believe it was the first day of spring um, at three o'clock this morning. I do believe. So, uh, officially, so I think we're into spring now. Whether the weather is spring like is another matter. You know, it could still be bloody winter. That's spring weather in this country. We have winters in the summer, the summer's in the really winter. Hey, thanks for all the subscribers anyway. Um, I've got, I think I've got for 2,000... 2,270 I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy. Uh, I'm doing some more comments though. Don't forget to leave a comment at the bottom. You know. Um, it's nice to talk to uh, the subscribers and the viewers like, so, you know. Give us some tips on where you're catching fish or what rigs you're using or, you know, stuff like that. What setups you've got. What kind of bait's been catching and what hasn't and, you know, stuff like that. Anything. You know, I'm sure there's plenty to talk about fishing wise. But it's nice to get the lab into fishing anyway, because, uh, you know, I saw the younger lad, the younger lad, and he, he lasted a session and that was it, he didn't get a fish on me. And after I had my daughter, she had a couple of sessions, she enjoyed it, and then she got a bit bored with it, so she was out the window. So, obviously I went on to Danny and tried him, and he's got into it, so, you know, he's loving it now. He's actually, he keeps moaning at me to go fishing, which is good, so that means he's got the fishing bug. So, that's another one to add to the next generation of fishermen. Keep the bait supplies in, in business. And the sack of it. Well then, well done to all them on the EOBC Championships. Um, shame uh, none of the YouTube lads could uh, manage a huge fish for the, uh, to make the uh, big prizes, but you know, at least it took part. I didn't. But I did give me reasons I couldn't fish it because uh, the back one was held out trying to find a spot. I can't walk through part of the beach, so you know, it might have took me three hours to go to the spot. And then it would be so late, so it would be pointless. So, well, I'm not bothered, you know. I still fished the day before, I've got a couple of fish, so I was quite happy. Might have only been dogfish, but. Uh, you know, fish is a fish, isn't it? 
some people like dog fish, some people like rockling, some people like whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. I quite like turbot, but I've only ever caught so, and it was on the same day. In fact, I do believe the turbot support was here. So it's crazy, isn't it? In all that time, never caught one, and bang. Two casts, two turbots. There's still a, a few species that have eluded me. Like, I've never caught a toe. I've never caught a spare dog. Um, anything else I I haven't caught a crawler yet either on this on these uh things I've been fishing. Um I think it's quite a lot of the fish in there, isn't it? But I just haven't had them. I think I've caught a really well. That's common anyway, I know it's yours. I even caught a blue scorpion fish so again it was a little I think that wasn't with him, see anyway, it was near the boat house. Oh no, sorry, that was Auntsy near the boat house. Near the slip. I think I caught that in sandstone. Right, we've had a little look at them rods, now going on. Um, I'm sure there will be up here somewhere. So, I'll let you know when I know, so you know me. Well, just pulled in. Uh, no weed on both rods. So Danny, because he's casting short, obviously he's found the weed. Uh, I've got no weed, because I'm casting further out. Luckily I've missed it all, but there's bloody crabs, because I've just been picked clean. Full squid picked to the board, nothing left but uh, elastic, so... You know, little poor doggy had none as I say. Right, I'm now on black lug. On uh, the pattern us that I've got gone to straight black lug, full on each, and uh, still on full squid on the uh, panel. That's well out. So I'm looking for that elusive cod, obviously. You know, I mean, we'll probably get the we'll probably get the fish on the panel today because I don't think there's any cod about. But you never know, dear. So I'm getting you back on them rods because, uh, as I say, they've just gone out and that's the best time to... Uh, best time to go out right now. Crab's coming in pretty quick though, because it's caught me. It's at my stand now, as you can see. Uh, it's coming in pretty damn fast. Uh, it's still seems to... The odd bit of rain keeps coming down, but it's very light. There's definitely crabs out there. I've only cast the off out about 60 metres, um, not too far out. I might mean, get a nice skate or something, you don't know, or, or uh, I might even get a gold of soil or something. I think it was this time last year when I got them turbots anyway. Similar weather to this. But well, you never know, yeah, you can come to Wiggins yourself and you can get no bites and then it come other times. And you get bloody loads of species. Same as anyway, it's hitting this, isn't it? But I'm fishing it three up and two down. Uh, outside three o'clock, and then got here at 12 o'clock, so I've got three up. And I'm going to fish two down, so I think I've got the best of the tide. I did expect it to be random, though, but I looked on the camera before I come out, and there's was nobody here, but by the time I got here, it was one fella, but there's enough room for us, so. I'm quite happy about that. It would be nice to get an early fish, mate. Right? Oh, see that he's only got a fish, don't you? Hey, thanks to everybody that shared the video, anyway. Um, fantastic. Especially GA. Yeah, big shout out to Mr. Dixon, his wife. Fantastic pair that always always talk to me and uh, message me privately and um, watch my videos. And, you know, there's quite a few people that watch my videos. Um, regards to, uh, to where Gordon, look man. 
but uh, and casters. Casters will love that comes in. And then I'll do this trap. And John as well, not forgetting John. Is it fishing frustration or yeah John? Nice kid. And well done on Mad Mick because his channel's coming up leaps and bounds out. Catching up fast. He's not far off everybody now. You know, so he's just come on leaps and bounds that kid. Plus some great content. Always has a laugh. Him and there, Toastless, Mick and that. Uh, Toastless. And, uh, is it Toastless Jeff? Yeah, Toastless Jeff, yeah. Memory like it serves me, I'll tell you. Hey, it's nice to see John Levo putting videos back up as well. Uh, great guy, he's done. He's always, uh, he always puts crappy content in. He always seems to find the bloody fish, doesn't he, that one? You know, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have to get some fish and work to go fishing. Because he always seems to find some nice fish. Obviously, he has his off day now and again, like everybody else, but he does get some lovely fish. Oh, one man and his rod, he started to take a rose with him fishing in uh, Port Villombo, he's out, he's definitely be out fishing in the shop, without a doubt. I tell you, bring your kids where you're fishing, it's not long before they catch you up and they'll protect you, and then they make you look silly, don't they? Because after that, Port Villombo's all damn it, he's, he's, out, he's out casting me and out fishing me and everything, I tell you. Because he's, uh, he's loving his fishing, he's damn it. You know, it's nice to get, it's nice to get people out fishing. It's nice to get people out fishing and, uh, you know, get new people into this park. There's no better for your mental health than sitting on a beach watching your rods and just... not even see breeze and the lovely fresh air. Danny looked at his weed, he's not an happy chuck, hey, but I ain't found no weed, I've been lucky. I've just found a bloody crab. That's right. I'll be back shortly, fellas, when... Uh, Get some uh, serious action on the rods because just starting to rain. Okay, we're back in between the wind and the rain. Um, keeps uh, giving it a bit of a shower job, that's what it wets on now. Uh, still, no, not really. I've got a tiny bit of weed off the panel that I had out of the distance, but not much. I've now gone on to um, squid and black little cocktail on, this, on the panel, that's out of distance. And uh, shorter, I've got the um, two up pattern oster on pure black lug but I don't expect that to last very long because there's a lot of crab out there uh, time's coming in pretty fast now but I don't reckon it'll get much further because only about an hour and a half to top uh, I definitely won't reach the wall so that should be alright uh, got about another f what, three and a half, four hours fishing I'm hoping to get at least a couple of fish you know, I haven't seen none come in yet there is a few fishing on here uh, good luck to Mark anyway Mark Morpeth is up the uh, beach somewhere because he's just messaged me but uh, I don't know where, <laughs> but I'm sure we'll find out. Um, but uh, no, it's a bit quiet at the moment. I mean, sea state, it's lovely, don't get me wrong. You, you think it'll be a rain there or something, or, you know, even a, a few Dover Soul and that. But I mean, you never know, do you? Might get some up. I'll get you back on the rods for the time being. Never know, we might get some decent food. I don't like to keep the camera on because it keeps raining. It's still a lovely day though, it's warm.
the smoke coming in now, look at those. Good three or four feet now. I think that's just some beast got a bit stiff, but it's coming in quick now, so I'm gonna have to move back a bit more. So far we've got here, look at that. Very close. Right, that's the problem for now, so I'm gonna have to move this camp before a big road wave swamps me. So I'll be back in a while. Right, I'm back. Uh, having a chat with the fella next to me. Um, we've got 20 minutes. There's no happening here, he's not on a bike. I don't know anybody else that's on a bike. She's bloody dead, can't believe it. Let's get my camera straight. It's absolutely dead, nothing. You know, I've had a bit of crab action, that's about it. It's, it's, it's awful. The weed's dropped off, but that's it, nothing. I've never seen it so flat. It's just, I say the fish have all disappeared completely. Um, I still enjoy myself though. I'm still having an adventure whether there's any fish in it or not. But uh, I think we're right near the edge now of uh, the summer season that way, I think we are. I think uh, it's going to get a bit crap now. But uh, as I say, I won't be out for at least another fortnight now or so because I'm trying to give me back a bit more, you know, more time to rest before I come back out again because it'll never ever heal. Unless I do. So I'm trying to take it very, very easy at the moment. Obviously I want to get some footage on and stuff. I've been putting a few best bit videos on and stuff like that to keep the channel flicking on. But um, I did put a message up saying I wasn't going to come back for a while because I was struggling because I'd done my back in again and it won't heal, which it won't. So, you know, I might look all right when I'm on camera because I'm putting a brave face on and stuff, but believe me, behind the scenes it's not good. But um, I know obviously I've got used to it quite a lot as well. You know, you get tolerant to it, don't you? But it's not good. I don't like it. I thought about that anyway. I'm more interested in watching them rods. And uh, hopefully we get a bloody fish. I don't know what the, the footage is going to be like, people, because uh, for one thing, it's windy and it keeps raining and I just cannot get the camera on long enough to get some decent footage but I'm going to leave you on camera for a while so I need a video at least but um, you know I'm trying my best to get you some footage and hopefully some fish in it but Danny's not had a bite the well, next he's not had a bite and the other two further up have not had a bite so you know there's a few people at the old uh, the pipe the old waste pipe further up um, but the bivvies up and that I don't know where they are but I don't know how they're getting on down there but it's out like this not very well Anyway, we've got the summer season to look forward to, haven't we? We've got rays and uh, smooth hands and uh, token stuff to look forward to. So, you know, it's time to get your tackle boxes out and, um, and your boxes and sort them all out. Get all your traces uh, sorted out and, and all your gear ready for the, uh, for the onslaught of the, uh, the rays. I love catching rays. I mean, obviously I like catching small bombs, but I like catching rays better. Rays are such a nice thing. And then I have to give you a good fight bringing them in, because half the time you open up and it's really hard to hear them. You think you've got some kind of huge monster on, you know what I mean? Even a two or three pound ray can make, you make it feel like there's a ten pound one on. So, you know, that's what makes it good. But uh, I've still got a nice bait on, down next to me using uh, mussels and razor fish and that, and, uh, and he's not getting nothing. Fish is a bonus though at the end of the day, isn't it? If you get a fish, great, it's nice to get one, but... I mean, it's warm. It's stiff free for him, but it's warm. I say it's in the 50s. If it weren't for the rain keep coming down every 10 minutes, I'd set my jacket off and I'd be quite comfortable just in the uh, audio light. So, but I've had the camera covered up most of the time with a plastic bag because uh, it's pretty pouring down. 
<coughs> the sky look, does look a lot better now, this is the eye of flowers, so hopefully it's, it's going to go. I personally think we'll get some fish when the tide turns in about an hour and a half. About an hour and a half from top now. And 20 metres or so from the air. Uh, maybe 25 metres from the, from the uh, cliff now. All the defences are going to call them. You know, I'll show you where I am. That's how far I am away. And there's the tide. that far away now. I don't think it will come in much further though because it's a hell of a steep beach this. And it takes some going to reach up here. Because I'm sat at least four to five feet above the tide now. So, so if you look down there you can see how quick it goes up. It's, it's just massive. Steep right from here. So I don't reckon it will come in more than another two or three metres now from the next hour now. I think I'll have to move again anyway. Oh, we're lacking is some bloody fish out there, fellas. I've got the wife watching me on the, uh, the boathouse camera today. She can see me because she's zoomed in. <laughs> it's all fun, isn't it? It looks happy today anyway, so give me a nice cool thing sandwich, egg mayonnaise, and one of the little baby quiches, so you know, it's very rare I bring food when I'm fishing, very rare. But uh, I've got some today. So I'm sure. If you want for Danny coming and bringing me boxes down there, I want the fish too. I cannot carry my boxes at the moment. Any weight on this back and it's, it's a bonnet. So it's a good job that he's there. It's a good job that he's uh, brought them down for me. It's raining again, fellas. Would you credit it? You just cannot get away from the camera. It's raining, I blow you again. So I'm going to cover the camera up for now and uh, I'll be back. As soon as it stops, oh, I get it. Um, no happening. Just about to put you on for a bit of footage while I'm eating my quiche. Um, still a bit of a cash. Not one single bite all afternoon. Well, at least the weeds fully dropped off and the crabs seem to have vanished. But, uh, terrible for fish. You know, I'm happy sometimes I do even get a couple of bites in those fish, but this isn't even a couple of bites. I think that's what's going to mainly be now between now and uh, now and snow bone season because there's nothing happening whatsoever now. I mean the last video I did here I got two dogfish. But even the European Open was um how many fish caught really, not many weighing in, was there? But of course it didn't help with the tide going down, did it? You know, most people like to fish coming up, don't they? Maybe it'd have been a bit different ball game if we'd have been fishing up, right? But uh, never happened. Maybe a bit more thought needs to go into the next one for next week. 
you know the tides are in favour really to catch some good fish. I suppose the only good thing about the tide going on the head bike is that the fact that you don't get washed off the boot. If you're on it, you're guaranteed to fail it, aren't you? Maybe they were thinking about safety and, uh, you know, there's some big tars, won't they? I mean, uh, some of these fish spots are dangerous, especially at the end of the night. Maybe, maybe that's what they were thinking of. Well, it'll have brought a lot of tourism to the weekend to the area, so, you know, everybody benefits totally all around. I mean, most people that was in it was just happy to be in it, you know. They just wanted to fish it, whether they caught anything or not. They already had the same chance, didn't they? I just can't believe I've gone bloody nibble though. You know, even a little tiny stabby white in this and that, or a rockling. <clears throat> well, that's the beauty of fishing, isn't it? It's, uh, Fishing into the unknown. I bet every angler comes out expecting they're going to get three or four fish. You know, this is the day, you know. Nine times out of ten, we're going to go home disappointed, aren't we? We all have some cracking seasons, sessions, and then some absolute stinkers. That's why I like it so much. Because them times when you don't get stinkers are really good times, so, you know. I still enjoyed it anyway, I've had a nice drive. We've been sat on a lovely beach with some lovely sea breeze. It's not cold, it's lovely, a bit of rain here and there, but other than that, you know. It's just nice to get some different scenery. Fucking some lovely views, even if it is wind farms. And, uh, you know, it's just it's nice. Very bit of exercise. You need a few pieces. Can't go wrong there, can you? I think it's going to rain again to me. It's not really bad. You know, there's no rain forecast whatsoever. I've got a little feeling that uh, we're going to get a, a little spell where we're going to get some knocks because it's getting up to near top tide. Um, it's like water soon. And I've got a feeling I might have a few fish then. It might not be no spectacular, like, but probably the fish will do. You know, very distant, but very fit. So, you know, I've got one long one shot, I've got one pattern lost and one pulley panel. Uh, one's on full black and one's on squids and black cocktails, so uh, what can you do? Right, I'll be back if uh, the rods start twitching. Well, we're back. Uh, still no action. Um, it's firstly slack water now. I'm going to check this out. Five past three. I do believe our time was three o'clock. I couldn't swear on it, but... You know, it might be four, I just can't remember. But uh, still no, no good. I'm only going to fish for another hour. Uh, it's always going to be a five hour spot, spot, like, you know what I mean? It's uh, only a short, daily spot, like. I've got no lighting or anything. 
in, so you know, I was never going to intend to stay in the dark. But uh, it's still coming in a bit. What my deal? I mean, it's been lovely conditions, guys. It's just uh, the fish have just uh, set the vacation. Simple. I thought one of them might have got a lucky fish, like, but you know, never will be, will be. It's been a lovely day to be out. Well, there's more for it at home when you can be on the beach, isn't it? If you're able to, get on a beach. I haven't done as much fishing this year though as I did last season, um, because it's not been so good. I've had lots of storms, lots of bad weather, the sea I've been around for lots of times. Wind always seems to be an easter for some reason. You know, it's the first time we've had subways for the last week and a half. Southwesterly at the moment, southwest, and that's just our view, really. Especially on here, because you've got a bit of cover from behind you, so you don't really feel anything. Obviously, a nice full westerly would be lovely. It's nice kayak when the land squads aren't seeing any out and it's dead calm out there. No chop or anything. It would be an ideal fishing trip weather, no boat. Really filthy water as well today, there's a lot of colour in the water up to a good mile out. You can see how far the colour goes, it's just, uh, you know, chocolate brown, as far as I can see. I dropped one shortly, but I don't want to go into that weed. I've been casting over the weed now, and it's just the weed the weed completely. Um, but Danny's had a bit of weed, so we've cast him short. I also think there's some uh, cannibalistic crabs out there because they've been uh, stripping my bait so I can go somewhere else. I'm going to pull this one in and see what's on it. I think this is the pattern of I'm pulling in. I'm going to take a few black lugs with me. But as I say, uh, there's not long to go now, so I need to find the fish.
it'd be nice to get off the map before I go home. I nearly went to Kilnsey today, but even that's not been fishing well, so I decided to get out of this. Oh, not that one about 80 metres or so, but there's nothing out there. Right, I'll be back if there's any more action. We're not far off giving up though. Right, I'm back after changing the battery. Right, we're not far off last cast actually, fellas. Uh, it's gone out for um, nothing's happening. I've now stuck three black ones on each hook gone right up the line. I'm going to try and just find a rape from somewhere. I just don't know where, but uh, yeah, I may have enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. I've uh, gone two and a half packets of black lug and a packet of squid, so you know, when you're fishing three ups and you're putting doing some baits on, it doesn't last very long, you know. Uh, five hours and it's gone, virtually. But 
I enjoyed it. Um, we'll just see if this, um, this last passage is for the fish. I'm just going to take that line up, so I've just knocked it out quite a long way. I've got a back wind and I've knocked it into it prison, so I'm just going to go self it out. Yeah, I'm on the 15 foot agility of the Continental ones. Um, you can have twang a bit. Of, uh, I mean, I love them for casting. They really knock them back, you know, the front coming out. And get a really good whip on them. Beautiful, smooth casting rods. I mean, I stopped using them because I've got into the Sonics and stuff, but uh, I've come back to them in the last few videos and I'm really enjoying using them. Obviously, they're no good for the river. Oh, good. But, uh, and obviously the more the more giving them the other rods so you know but I love them certainly you're not going to miss a bite on them put it that way um, you don't have to put so much welly in to get a you know, decent cast out of them that extra foot and a bit just makes a big difference Enjoying them. Obviously, I'll be moving back onto my other rod shortly, but I certainly won't go smooth on dunking them because they're uh, I think you struggle pulling one in with them, really. But I don't know, I wouldn't like to say. Start off with a fair mode, I think. I've noticed as well, you know when you do summer videos, um, your viewings fall by about half. I mean, it's not just me, everybody. If you look on the channels when it comes to summer, the smooth on season, the views are terrible. I mean, I don't know why. I don't think people like summer fishing, I just don't know why. Maybe they're out of the self, I don't know, but it's the winter cod that brings the people in, the cod fishing. I don't know why people just love to see cob getting caught and of course this year you've been spoilt with the added so we had the best of both worlds really but I mean I can't see the added coming back next season I'd be shocked if they do anyway maybe it's the added that's kept the cod away I don't know but we haven't seen many cod have we since I started doing these videos it's been the leanest season there's been for cod. I mean, I've, I don't know how many I've got, probably one or two at the maximum. You know, the season before, it's 27. I mean, you know, 27 cod's quite a lot, really. Some of them are stonking fish. So, uh, it's been absolutely terrible. The only good fish I've had this season, really, to cap it off, was the uh, six pound seven bass I got at um, Macro. You know that was uh, that was a superb fish. I really enjoyed that fish. That was a very unexpected surprise. I tried to knock one near that. You know where the. Uh, you know the shuttlecock is there, you can see it can't get the red one. I've just knocked it about 30, 40 metres past that, virtually in line with it. I just want to see if there's anything around that area.
Franny says it's his last cast anyway, so he won't be casting out then after this one. It's been lovely though. I've enjoyed it. Absolutely loved it. I'm sorry I've done a lot of fishing in the last few weeks and then um, you do miss it when you don't do it. But I mean, it's actually been unfishable anyway with all these uh, sea studies blowing in there. So, there's been some terrible sea sticks. I was just looking on the EOCB that um, the tad, the sea stick calmed itself down. Because it, just before it and after it, it was pretty good. Beach is pretty dead as well, I haven't seen many people. I've seen the old dog walker, but uh, you know, not many people have been on it since it's a nice warm day. So it's, it's uh, pretty damn warm. I think the tab's uh, definitely going out now. Uh, long shot. going out quite a bit I think now. The wave seems to get bigger when it goes out rather than comes in. Take a little break then, next time you see me I'll probably be uh, wrapping up, so I'll see you in a bit. Right fellas, it's pack away time, we'll just get the camera in the right place because I'm bloody on a nil. Hold on. Uh, Tars me going up for good hour and a bit now. Uh, absolutely nothing. Not a single bite. You know, there's been a lot of crabs though, a lot of crabs. Weed was a bit there a bit early, but uh, it dropped off after about one hour. You know, about three hours into the tide, it, it dropped off, and I haven't seen it since. So, you know, it's just early on when it's on the uh, when it's coming in, about three hours up. That's when the weed came on. But other than that, weed went and it's been fine. Um, it's been holding perfect. Uh, it's just bloody loads of crabs. I don't know if it's because the crabs are getting the bait real quick or what, but. Um, 
Nobody's had a bite on here. I mean, the guy next to me has been here since, what, 11 o'clock, half, half 10, 11. Not a single bite. Uh, I ain't had a bite. Danny ain't had a bite. There's two guys after him, they ain't had bites either, so... You know, it's just terrible, man. I don't know where they've gone, but... Uh, lovely conditions. I mean... Ooh! Ooh, ooh, hold on a minute. I'm just swear I've just got a big pull down. Just, uh, let's have a look. I might have just, uh, might be a, might my imagination like. I'm just, <laughs> keep looking. That's the one I banged three big lug on the hook. Nah, I'm just probably dreaming. But I mean, other than that, it's been great. So, I'm going to call it a day. Um, going to get wrapped up before the uh, darkness moves in. You know, it's, it's going to be a lovely evening to drive home in. I really enjoyed myself. Uh, from me, Jimmy Cobb Bites and Danny, uh, who's just putting his gear away over there, look. Danny, it's a very good, very good evening. And uh, until next time, fellas, you know, tight lands and uh, take care.